How's it going, everybody? Jay Sannon here with USSportsBonus.com alongside TJ Calkins, getting you ready for the main card of UFC Fight Night, headlined by Blades versus Lewis. TJ, we're going to start with Chris Dawkins, a minus 190 favorite, taking on Alexi Olinick. Of course, Olinick, the far more experienced fighter with a 59 and 14 lifetime record. He's got a lot of fights under his belt. Does he have another win under his belt here is the question. Yeah, I really think he does. Uh, I mean, these guys are very, very different. They're complete opposites in every sense of the word. You know, Dawkins is a younger, heavier hander, up and coming striker, where Olenek is just, he's a one of a kind. We'll never see it again. Uh, Super savvy submission grappler, you know, it, the Ezekiel chokes and everything else, he just finds ways to get it done. And now the strikers that have put him out, you know, we're, we're not talking about up-and-comers that, you know, beat super low-level guys on their way up. We're talking about Walt Harris and Alistair Overeem and uh, even Fabricio, or uh, not Verdum. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> Olenek uh, did have Derek Lewis in real trouble in his last fight there. And Lewis was able to survive uh, that scarfold, which Olenek has actually used to success in the past. So we're going to see Olenek survive. An, or I don't know if it's even an onslaught because Olenek is going to be the one winging bombs, closing the, dis- the distance. He doesn't wing those bombs to knock his opponent out. He wings them to get his hands around the opponent, get him on the fence, and try to get the fight to the floor. And he has real success with it. And he's just so savvy. I think it's going to be like, unlike anything Dawkins has ever seen. And I think it's, it's going to be a first-round win for Linick. And to your point, TJ, uh, both of these fighters, very good at participating in fights that do not go the distance. Only one of Dawkins's 13 career fights has gone the distance, and only one of the last 10 for Olinick. So fireworks expected here in this one, to say the least. You notice that minus 500 fight ends inside the distance line, did you? I sure did, TJ. <laughs> I sure did. Next up on the main card here, we're going to look at Tom Aspinall. He's a minus 250 favorite taking on Andre Orlovsky. Now, Aspinall, he's won his last five fights, including his first two in UFC, taking on the 42-year-old Orlovsky, who has won three of his last four. Yeah, man, I love me some Tom Aspinall. I think he's just such a very real prospect. You know, he started as a BJJ fighter, and then he learned how to box. And, man, his boxing is absolutely vicious. He's putting guys out, and he's not afraid to throw it. He might take a minute or two to get a read, but, I mean, he puts it on him. And even if the striking doesn't work out for him, he's got a sound enough wrestling game and a super high-level BJJ game uh, to fall back on. So. The way Arlovsky was able to win a couple of fights against, uh, I guess, much lesser prospects as I view them, I don't think he's going to be able to dictate anything in this fight. And I think Aspinall is going to put it on him and put him out, whether it be ground and pounder or whether it be standing in that ITD line of just minus 120 is a very interesting one. And, of course, we're talking about trends that we've noticed with these fighters going inside the distance. Aspinall, another guy. Hasn't had a fight go the distance just yet. So (laughs) definitely liking where your head is at there, TJ. And now let's talk about the main event. I know you don't have a play on it, but Curtis Blades, a minus 380 favorite against Derek Lewis. And of course, this fight could have a lot to say about who the next challenger for the UFC heavyweight title is going to be after Miocic and Nganu fix their issues. So we have Blades here. Second-ranked heavyweight contender. He's won four straight, eight out of nine, dating back to 2017. Heavy favorite here. Is there any chance he gets knocked off his high horse? Man, I'll tell you what. This might be one of the most simple main event breakdowns we'll ever have. You know, Curtis Blades is certainly the best wrestler in the heavyweight division. I mean, he's certainly top five in the UFC overall. He makes no bones about his game plan coming in. He's going to take you down. He's going to try to control you. He's going to try and land some ground and pound. And when you get back up, he's going to rinse and repeat and do it again. Now, Derek Lewis has some of the worst takedown defense in the heavyweight division. And <laughs> it, it really is going to be a matter of can he land some miracle one bomb before uh, maybe the second or third takedown? Because while Lewis doesn't truly run out of gas, he does slow down. I mean, he, he got lucky against Volkov. 
let's be honest, but that wasn't a grappling heavy fight. And we're just going to see Blades absolutely just demoralize Derek Lewis. There's just not going to be any answer. Uh, the only reason it's not a play is I, I just hate laying four to one in any scenario. You know, it's MMA, things happen. And I'm not super confident it's an inside the distance win. You know, it might just be 25 minutes of control, ground and pound, rinse, repeat for uh, for Blades. So it's as simple as if you're playing the fight, you're playing Blades. You know, you got to let slay the juice. That's it. But uh, we're going to sit this one out as far as the official play goes. Blades undefeated against fighters not named Francis and Ghana, which I guess is I guess is fair enough. And Ghana is a tough guy to uh, to tackle, but Blades doing a good job against everybody else to his credit. TJ, thank you for your expertise as always. For more from TJ on this UFC Fight Night card, including his thoughts on the prelims, be sure to check out USSportsBonus.com. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to smash the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Until next time, TJ Calkins and Jay Sanon saying, see you next time. Good luck on your UFC bets this weekend.